Hey everybody, the next topic in our Config Manager Lab series is Desktop Analytics. Desktop Analytics is a cloud-based service that takes information from your on-premise Config Manager devices and provides insight and intelligence around those devices. You can use it to create an inventory of apps running on them, review app compatibility with feature updates, and provide mitigation suggestions from Microsoft. Let's jump in and take a look at how it looks. So the first step is to open your browser and go to aka.ms slash desktop analytics. And from here, we're just gonna go ahead and click start and then accept the agreement. We have one of these subscriptions, so we'll choose yes and then next. And right now we need to allow desktop analytics to manage direct roles on our behalf, so we'll choose next. And then we'll select the Azure subscription. Next, we need to create a workspace. So we'll create a one called Get Modern Dash Desktop Analytics. And then choose the Azure subscription and choose Add. Once that's done, we're going to need to create a resource group. So I'll give it the same name just to keep it simple for this demonstration. And I'm going to choose the region and that's going to be UK South for me. So we need to choose that workspace and then choose set as desktop analytics workspace and then choose continue. Now we need to give it permission uh, to work on our behalf. And then we're going to choose go to desktop analytics. Okay. So that's pretty much it. Okay, so now that we've got the Azure site set up, we need to get Config Manager configured to upload the device information to the Azure portal. It's really simple. I'll show you how. So we need to create that server app, which is the thing that's gonna be doing the communication with Azure for us. So I'll go ahead and choose a name like Get On Desktop Analytics, and we wanna choose a secret that never expires, and then sign in. Now that we're signed in, it's just a case of clicking OK and then OK. We're going to use the Azure Public Cloud, so it's just a case of choosing Next. And then this commercial ID will automatically pre fill. All good. I want to change the diagnostic data level to optional rather than optional limited. And I'd quite prefer the device name to be available in the diagnostic data. So I'm going to change that from disable to enable. So with Windows 10 1803 and later we get full functionality out of desktop analytics. And here we just need to give config manager a name in desktop analytics. So I'm going to go ahead and call it get modern config manager. And then we need to choose that collection that we created earlier on for desktop analytics computers. In my environment, I don't have a user authenticated proxy, but if you do, go ahead and choose yes. And right now we're not going to do a pilot. I don't have enough lab computers to, to do a pilot. Okay, so we click close and we're all done. Okay, so the next step is to take a look at how this new configuration is affecting our clients. And then we're going to go over to configurations and check to see if it has a config. All right, so a new baseline's appeared. Let's take a look at this. So it's called M365A settings. Revision one, last evaluation is relatively recently, four minutes ago according to this clock. It's compliant, that's good. So taking a final look at our client, as you can see, it's start to send some information to Azure around the device sensors here and collected the detailed application info. So heading over into desktop analytics admin center, we have, um, we've got no managed devices yet, which is a shame. And uh, so it, we're processing your data. If this message persists for more than 72 hours, you may have Connection health issues. Okay. So, unknown issue occurred. Okay, so it's been around 24 hours since I started setting this up. So yeah, we're just gonna have to wait a little bit longer and then take a look. 
Okay, so check out part two to see what insights and information we get from our Config Manager connected devices. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when we release a new video. For now, thanks for watching.